Hello, and welcome to another episode of Video Game Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about The Takeover on Nintendo Switch. So, as you can see in the video in the background, The Takeover is another beat-em-up game. I just reviewed a beat-em-up game uh, probably a week or two ago uh, called Raging Justice. Okay, so this is another one. And, you know, I'm going to come right out front and say that I, I do favor this game over Raging Justice for a few reasons, and we'll get into some of those a little later on. We can start with the graphics. It's a good-looking game. Again, you know, as I'm going to say with probably every beat-em-up game these days, I still favor Streets of Rage 4. I like the art style even in that a little bit better, but what we have here is still a, a very solid presentation on what I imagine is probably a smaller budget with a smaller team. So I think they did a great job with that, both in terms of the images themselves as well as how those images are animated. So animation was one issue that I had with Raging Justice, it just made that game uh, feel slightly less fluid, and here, you know, the animation is, is a lot more slick, and, you know, partially as a result of that, what we have is, is a gameplay that feels quite a bit smoother, I would say, than Raging Justice, although still perhaps not quite on par with Streets of Rage 4. So then moving on to the audio, the sound effects here are pretty, pretty crunchy, pretty top-notch. You're really going to feel those impacts, you know, and then of course the soundtrack, the music, is pretty, uh, honestly, the, the music is a highlight here for me. I feel like that's one area in which this game, in my opinion, might surpass Streets of Rage 4, which I mean, you know, is, is recognized for having a great soundtrack, but it tends to be a little tends to be almost exclusively on the sort of electronic music side of things, Streets of Rage 4. But but here with the takeover, you know, there are still some of those tracks, kind of dancey, you know, electronic tracks. Uh, but they also mix that in with a, a very healthy dose of of heavy guitar tracks, which which honestly I just think really, really fits this genre. It, it just goes along well with the gameplay and it sounds great. So big thumbs up there. Okay, so uh, in terms of really one of the one of the key areas I would say where this game and, and really most beat em ups fall short of Streets of Rage 4 is Streets of Rage 4 has, if you enjoy the game, um, has quite a bit of replayability to it. Um, it's just kind of a, a joy to play through that game. And it's got a lot of, like a lot, of unlockable characters, so you also have a good reason to play through Streets of Rage 4 over and over and over again. You've, you know, you keep unlocking these characters, and then you get to play as, as those, and it provides a different enough experience to make you want to continue playing. Whereas in this game, you start off with three characters, uh, you can unlock a fourth, and then beyond that, you can Un unlock a random character selector and as far as I know that's the last unlockable in the game um, so there's there's not a lot in terms of goals that really push you to keep playing this once you've finished it like there are additional modes and leaderboards and things like that if you're into chasing those high scores but in terms of unlockables you know what I mean that's what I'm talking about so there's not that much here for that, but what is present here uh, is is honestly a really th thoroughly enjoyable game. Like I said, the combat feels feels good, feels fluid, crunchy, satisfying. Uh, you've got your typical punches and kicks. You've got uh, hearkening all the way back to Streets of Rage One. You've got this um, screen uh, like screen clearing attack that involves, you know, missiles and huge explosions all over the screen. You also have something, you have a rage meter, uh, and when you activate that, you become uh, pretty much invincible, I think, 
and your hits do a lot more damage. Um, so instead of having to knock enemies down over and over again while your rage meter is active, uh, they, they, as far as I can tell, they all die on the first knockdown, um, which, which could be helpful. Uh, they also do some other things to switch up the gameplay that I really liked here. There's a, there's a behind the vehicle, almost like a racing game style, or like harkening all the way back to Road Blasters, if, if any of you even know what that is, but, um, it's, it's like a combat racing level, not really, not really racing, but a, a combat driving level. Uh, and that's not too long, and it's, you know, it's pretty fun, and it does a great job of, of breaking up the beat-em-up action. And, and again, that's, that's another feature that this game, you maybe could say, has over Streets of Rage 4. It would have been great to see Streets of Rage mix up the levels a little bit like that, just give you a little more variety, you know? And so you have that here. There's also another level that plays very much like Afterburner. Okay, so you're flying a jet, same type of deal. You're going to see some footage here in the video. Very cool. And, and then there's another stage where it's, it's the typical view of all the rest of the beat-em-up stages, but you, you actually get an automatic rifle with unlimited ammo on this one particular stage, and so it doesn't play quite like a beat-em-up. You're, you're doing a lot of shooting, and again, that serves to, to sort of break up the the gameplay and give you some variety and uh i would say it's a success uh they they did a fine job there um i think the last thing that i'm that i might mention here is or one of the last things that i might mention here is stamina bars for your um for your weapons for your melee weapons so there there isn't one so basically as long as you can hang on to as long as you don't get a weapon knocked out of your hands you can you can carry it through the entire level which by the way side note the levels here are pretty long so yeah so anytime a, a weapon gets knocked out of your hands you can pick it back up but on the th the third time that you pick a weapon up if you get it knocked out of your hands again it's gone so not really a stamina bar but they you know they implemented that mechanic to basically uh, limit your ability to just breeze through the game with a weapon Oh, the cutscenes. So I will say the cutscenes, like this is overall, I would say like a pretty darn polished uh, beat em up game. But uh, so the cutscenes, I feel like are where this game really kind of looks like an indie title. Um, they're just not uh, not as polished. OK, so like the dialogue, the voice acting, the the art that is that is present in the cutscenes is it, it does feel a little amateurish you know I as a fan of indie games I don't mind that I think it's definitely got an appeal but it's it just doesn't have the same polish as like the again the Streets of Rage 4 cutscenes and then I so I think finally truly the last thing that I'm gonna mention about this game it, it does have at least two endings that I'm aware of. So I got them both. I, I don't want to give any spoilers, but I don't really think it is one to say that at the end of the game you have a choice that you can make, and depending on which, which option you choose, it does affect the ending. So, yeah, there you go. Now, as far as value, uh, with the price point, I got this game uh, again, I think it might have been a Black Friday sale or, or shortly thereafter. It was on a really good sale. I think I got this game for like somewhere between five and seven dollars. And at that price point, it's an absolute no-brainer steal of a deal. Like, go for it. Seriously. But here's the thing, at full price, this game is, I believe it's twenty twenty dollars and that's just Honestly, for my for my taste, that's just awfully close to the price of Streets of Rage 4, which I think is like maybe 25, if I remember correctly. And so if you have to make a choice, uh, you know, definitely go for Streets of Rage 4. However, if you've already played that game to death and you're looking for another good beat-em-up, the takeover is, you know, would be an excellent choice. So yeah, so uh, like on sale, I would say it's a must. Or, or at least a very strong recommendation. At full price, 
it's you know it's iffy maybe maybe you could do worse i'll tell you that you could definitely do worse it's you know it could be worth it but ultimately you know only you can make that decision so uh i think that's gonna do it that's my two cents on this game uh thanks for tuning in guys and uh let's see click like and subscribe please click that little bell note uh that little bell icon so you get notifications when i publish a new video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye